See you guys. I'll do a walk around on this real quick too. The uh, XR650R. So, pretty much stock. Um, I have the integrated brake light in here. Uh, Pro Taper handlebar. Endurance 1, the one that's only like 100 bucks now. It's been on here, I guess the guy said. I can't remember what this is called. I'll put it in the description, like, or on the screen what this is exactly. The guy told me again. Scouts. Just, I think it spaces the handlebar more. So it's more upright. Other than that, the exhaust, pro circuit, four stroke exhaust. I need to get a new end cap. Uh, everything else is stock. I think it's got the, uh, I think, um, nothing crazy about the gearing or anything like that. I'm going to order my Supermoto kit, complete kit, on Monday from a company that gets everything. The fender, the shorter Supermoto fender, rims, tires, brake, setup, um, the adapter, all that good stuff, all that jazz. Even a fluid holder for all the excess fluid that comes out that catches in that little piece down there. It's going to be something in that. Um, it's going to be sweet, man. I'm really stoked. It's going to get here in like a week or two. And while that's happening, I'm probably going to upgrade this because it's stripped. So it works, but I cannot adjust it. I can't mess with it at all. Everything works fine. The grip sticks a little bit, but I think that'll be better when I clean it in there a little bit. I use paint to stick these down, and my handlebar... Um, the actual throttle is shorter than the bar to fit this length uh, grip. So there's about this much space where there is no throttle and the rubber is sticking to the handlebar because of the, the paint. But not that bad anymore when I remove the excess outside piece, which I'm going to cut this one off too when I put the um, bark busters on there. With integrated mirrors like um, Accidental Broadcast has, the ones from that company, Highway uh, Dirt Bikes, I think that's what it's called and get rid of these antenna looking things. Uh, should be sweet, man. I'm really looking forward to doing stuff to this bike because I'm having a lot of fun on it. But uh, that's the walk around, nothing else. It's pretty much stock, straight stock, stock parts. Um, the, the white back plastics are new. They're not stock ones. I don't, I think the front two red ones are stock since the day he bought it, 2002, the other guy. The previous owner, there's been two owners. Um, a father and a son. So the father bought it brand new and then transferred it over to his son and he rode it for a long time and uh, then he sold it to me. So it's been in the same family pretty much, same owners, two owners but the same family. It's whole life and they took really good care of it. They got, the guy had a lot of nice toys man, a nice car, had a nice old school like cruiser, uh, just freaking nice man. I can't remember what it was but it was not your ordinary cruiser. He had another dirt bike. He had a 450 Yamaha, I think. That was his baby after this one. He started really riding that. And this one kind of sat in the side. And he's uh, joining Air Force, so he's selling a bunch of his toys. And this is one of the ones he was selling. And uh, it was beat up. I mean, he, he looped it and broke the fender on the back. And scuffed some of the plastics. But overall, the bike itself was fine. I could care less about that stuff because... I would have replaced that anyways, to be honest. Look at this guy walking all weird. Like a robot. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. I could stop, dude. I'm on a 400, 500 pound bike. I can stop this thing in an instant. Don't worry about it. Oh, character. That was good. But yeah, so then I bought off him and I would have replaced the parts anyways, to be honest. I like my bikes nice and shiny. It's just a slow going process. You buy the parts here and there until it's done. Cool mask, bro. Cool hoodie mask. I like that. Thing runs like a champ though. I just, I, it's uh, burping a little bit. But I'll just have to tweak it because I uh, I messed with the uh, exhaust. Cute girls. 
I mean, I took the carburetor off and cleaned it just because I wanted to. And so, you know, I got to make sure I put everything back on right. It's burping a little bit, so that might have been my fault. <laughs>